Welcome to Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, the road course configuration for the for Gary Owens' race north of the border. And uh, Gary Owen, like I said, is racing in this race. He got his first career win at Watkins Glen. But Gary Owen, his first career win came at Watkins Glen, the first race of his Ioma career. He will be racing in the first race of the Firefox Cup Series at Daytona. You know, he will be making his start there in the in the uh, Gary Owen Motorsports, Gary Owen number 24 Chevrolet. You know, he essentially funds his whole team, his whole ride out of pocket. He sponsors all his races. We don't see a lot of those guys anymore, so it's it's neat to see that. But yeah, now I closed points because I am a dummy, because I am stupid. I closed points before I uh, checked before I started recording, so I'm going to open those up right now, and I'm uh, going to go over points. This also is an 11 lap race. But, uh, as I said many times during the broadcast at uh, Talladega, Patrick Starr comes out with comes out at Talladega with the points lead. And uh, Roman Fenway came out second in points. With uh, Nathan Warman gra who grabbed the win there coming out third, and Nathan Smith who had the points lead going into that race, only dropping the fourth. So... He's only 12 points behind. Good run here could uh, definitely bring uh, Smith back in title contention. And uh, Jordan Stout and Mitchell Collins have both been mathematically eliminated from the championship. Uh, Jordan Stout 99 points back. Uh, Mitchell Collins 90 points back. I believe uh, Greg Galding's also, also mathematically eliminated. Uh, yes, Greg Alding is also uh, eliminated. Bradley Ream, uh, not quite eliminated yet. However, it's very likely he will. And if he gets two more wins, and uh, the rest of, and everyone else in front of him does not too hot, uh, he does uh, still have a shot. However, it's very, very unlikely. And, uh, in 5th in points, we have Ryan Benjamin. 6th in points here, former points leader Devin Fair in the 93. Uh, Sebastian Dupain sits in 7th in the 68. Arthur Xavier sits in 8th with uh, the 0 truck. I am going to be... Actually, no, I'm not going to be right back. Hold on. Uh, Chris, uh, Nonigan Scott sits 9th with, in the 86. Uh, Christian Russell sits 39th in the 10... Uh, sits... 10th in the 39, and, and uh, Mateo Kobayashi sits 11th in the 10. Now, uh, we're getting close to the command being given here. So, let's go over some of your stories of the race. Gary Owen, uh, home track. He's on the pole. Uh, the road course ringer from Canada. Starts on the pole at his home track. Uh, definitely look for him to be probably the uh, most aggressive driver, maybe the best driver of the, in the field. We, like we saw, he won in his first career start at Watkins Glen. He's got a lot of speed here at the road courses. Uh, the same truck he won in at Watkins Glen, obviously with uh, the adjustments for the, the track. Um, iRacing will return to Nathan Smith Motorsports. They will sponsor the 9 truck exclusively. Now, I know this has been very, very boring uh, just seeing the same camera angle. I am horribly sorry for that. But uh, let's go over your part-timers in this race. Now, obviously, Gary Owen making his, making his second and final start of the season. Drivers, start your engines! And, uh, Gary Owen making his second and final start of the season. Uh, Cody Smart, uh, he has one more start. That is at Rockingham, as well as uh, John McFadden making his final start. Oh, they're making contact with the pit, in, uh, pit lane wall. That's not good. 
and the yellow flags are off, so are pit stops. Well, pit, st pit stops could technically happen if a driver were to have a mechanical issue or wreck. Now, let's go over your starting lineup. Gary Owens starts on the pole here in the 24 truck up. His inside, Mitchell Collins, who's been mathematically eliminated from the championship. And that's not going to stop him from pushing hard and trying to get that victory. Now, Sebastian Dupayne starts third, uh, and, to his, and to his outside, the, def the uh, previous race winner. The previous race winner of Nathan Ormond. And in the next row, we have Ryan Benjamin and Matteo Kobayashi. And the row behind them, we have Nottingham Scott and Devin Fair. And then we have Patrick Starr and uh, Nathan Smith. Uh, Patrick Starr is your points leader. Then we have John McFadden in his final start of the season. And his outside, Greg Galding, making his final road course start. As, uh, he's making his final start at all these tracks. And in the next row, we have Roman Fenway and to his outside, Bradley Ream. In the next row, we have Jordan Stout, last in points, Christian Russell. And uh, Christian Russell to his outside. And in the final row, we have Arthur Xavier and Cody Smart. Cody Smart, for the longest time, was the uh, part-timer points leader. And, uh, the two drivers who... Uh, got a, who made their final starts last race. Uh, Christian Holder and Loden Williams down, will sit 1-2 in the Part-Timer Points Championship. Uh, we'll see if John McFadden can come in to spoil that party, but it has been extended to uh, the top three in points. Make it to the... make it a uh, full-time ride next season. Unless the team decides to shut down. And the pace truck heads on to pit road now. Through the final corner, coming to the green flag. Green flag is on a Canadian tire. Gary Owen gets a bad start. Mitchell Collins, who is outside, trying to shoot by. Gary Owen's going to stick with him, and he's going to shoot by on the inside in turn one. Collins is sticking by him. He's going to have the preferred line. And no, he's not able to get by Gary Owen. Here comes Nathan Orman trying to get up the inside of Mitchell Collins now. Orman definitely showing some speed late here in the season, trying to make that championship run. And uh, Nathan Smith dropping back a bit. Uh, Devin Fair, he's on the charge, trying to make up those points he lost in the previous two races at Watkins Glen and Talladega. Now, Nathan Smith had a horrible, uh, no, I'm not re really even sure what happened at Talladega. They just did not pit. Both uh, of the Nathan, both of the Nathan Smith Motorsports trucks did not pit at Talladega. It's very weird. Oh, the chicken patty. Two. Uh, Gary Owen coming out of the final corner. He's going to lead lap one. And this could be the start of the uh, domination. And he, Nathan Ormond here, he makes it uh, uh, past Mitchell Collins. Right now, the focus is on the 93 and the 07. What will happen if the uh, 93 gets to the 07? Uh, Devin Fairley, he's going to be very aggressive trying to get that points lead back. Nathan Smith is, is uh, not very far behind him, though. John McFadden sits the last in the part-timer championship. I know Logan Williams looks to have clinched it. Oh, and there goes Roman Fenway trying to get up the inside of Nathan Smith. No, he's not able to get there. Devin Fair, he's going to pull up alongside Patrick Starr. I don't...
don't know. Kobayashi's is trying to fend off not against Scott, the man from Britain. Oh, and Scott goes wide, and Kobayashi's going to hold on. Uh, Mateo Kobayashi, he is uh, moving into a ownership role of the Rise of Sun Motorsports. It will be uh, rebranded to Lumi Speed Racing, uh, purchased by Firefox Cup Series driver Theo Spletzer. Um, Spletzer 2 and a whiskey company, I'm not quite sure who, uh, being the full-time sponsors of the trucks. But Mateo Kobayashi ha is moving into an owner role next season, and it uh, sucks to go out on essentially being eliminated from the championship contention, and the man from Britain, Nottingham Scott, trying to get up his inside. No, not able to get by. But Patrick Starr and Devin Fair. Uh, Fair rides right behind Starr. He's waiting for Starr to make a mistake so he can pounce on it. Uh, Nathan Smith uh, he will be retiring from this series next season. As a... He, is, he heads to the Firefox Cup Series, and as well as uh, John McFadden, Devin Fair. Um, Bradley Ream, also moving on, as well as Arthur Xavier. Christian Russell is going to uh, make the start at Daytona. He currently runs last. Ryan Benjamin also moves up to the Firefox Cup Series. As well as Mitchell Collins, Nathan Ormond is not returning to uh, rock car racing next season. But Gary Owen, he, he looks like he's going to be the dominator of the season. Uh, if he, if, he looks like he's going to be the dominator of the road courses next season if he uh, decides to return. Uh, 11 laps here. We're already four laps into the race. We're going to go 50 laps at Rockingham next week. So that is that's going to be in a uh, title decider right there, the R Rockingham for the Bass Pro Shops finale. It will not be under the lights, but Nathan Smith, he's got Roman Fenway hot on his hot on his heels trying to shake him off. Needs to catch back up to John McFadden and Devin Fair trying to uh, get around him. Patrick Starr, uh, not good for Devin Fair. He's moved up past Nottingham Scott. And that's not good if you're Devin Fair. You don't want your uh, biggest championship rival extending their lead. However, uh, I believe Nathan Orman will come out with the points lead for this race if they continue to run where they're running. He's uh, third in points coming in here. He com currently comes out with 27 points. But, um, we will have a playoff system next season. However, it'll be a six-truck, quote-unquote, playoffs. It'll be a six or eight-truck, quote-unquote, playoffs. Drivers will, the top eight drivers in points, advance into the playoffs and... From there, they uh, just those eight drivers get their points reset so that they cannot fall out of contention, and then they race. And uh, whoever collects the most points in those final few races is crowned the championship. Is crowned the champion next season. Gary Owen, though, two seconds ahead, just flying here at his home track. Nathan Orman sits in second. Uh, can Collins run him down? Devin Fair, he's got Nathan Smith right behind him. Uh, Fair is falling back. <clears throat> Definitely not good for uh, Devin. You want to keep, the, you want to keep the uh, that spot. You want to keep all the positions you can't get. Currently sits tenth. 
Uh, they both, Nathan Smith and Devin Fair would both get three points. That would not help them at all in the uh, point standings. It would cause them more harm than it, did, than it would good. And they both don't, they don't want that. Either, no, both of them don't want that. They want to get as many points as they can. However, uh, does help that Roman Fenway, the guy in second, and the guy in second in points is also, got, would also get three points. of the race would end right now. The leaders have absolutely pulled away. Gary Owen has clocked out. He's basically got this win locked up. He's gonna, he, he will have two. Gary Owen, he looks like he's going to come out of the straight with two career wins, unless he gets, uh, unless he sends it off the track somewhere. Orman knows that he won't be able to catch him, however, he does know that he's got a fast truck and that he could come out of this race with the points lead, which will be very, very beneficial to him. Owen, oh, the 40 went off the track right there. Fair and Smith see the drivers ahead. They see them uh, right close to each other, hoping that that slows them up so they can close in and potentially make a pass, get some more points. Here we see Sebastian Dupain, who will not be returning to that 68 next season. He's trying to just cruise it on out. He is actually retiring from the uh, series. So, uh, this is unfortunate for Sebastian Dupain. He is retiring from the series. Uh, 68 State Motorsports so loses a driver. And uh, it's a shame that McDonald's scheme is amazing. question is, will McDonald's return to the 68 team next season? Will there even be a 68 team next season? Uh, Teo Kobayashi has been run down by Patrick Stark. Oh, and we see the 86 go wide. Nathan Smith is right on the back of Devin Fair. He's going to try and send it on the outside down the straightaway. Down the back stretch, Nathan Smith, he's right on the inside of Fair. He's right there, side by side, coming, coming through the penultimate corner. Still side by side, now coming through the final corner. Nathan Smith versus Devin Fair, side by side. Smith is able to complete the pass, he's not clear yet though. Now he's clear, Nathan Smith moves up to the 10th position. Smith is now hoping uh, that Scott runs off the track once more, uh, maybe into the outside wall, so he's able to catch up to him. Make Smith happy would not make uh, Scott happy at all. Nathan uh, would get three extra points. Those three extra points could really help him in the race, in the race at Rockingham. Scott does not fly off the track over Bradley Reed, nearly does. Cody Smart at the back, he's just not had a good race at all. But Nathan Smith, he's really, tr he's gonna really try and push to close into not even Scott. We're gonna see how much he gained on uh, Scott this lap, if any. up at the leaderboard he lost time that's a not good for Nathan Smith right there 
the iRacing 48. Uh, Gary Owens nearly five seconds ahead. Here you see uh, Nathan Ormond. The uh, if Ormond makes a mistake though, Mitchell, Co Mitchell Collins is right there to strike. Uh, we see Nottingham Scott fly off this corner quite a bit today. Will he do it? No, he will not. Oh, there goes uh, Fenway. A lot of drivers flying off. Bradley Ream, Jordan Stout, Arthur Xavier. All of them fly off the track. Nathan Smith, very, very hungry for that second win. No driver has won multiple races this season. Ga oh, I didn't realize this is the final lap. Gary Owen. Uh, he leads. He leads a Canadian tire. No driver has won two races this season. No driver's won three races this season. No one's won multiple races. Gary Owen looks to change that today at his home track. Nathan Ormond sits in second. He's not going to be able to catch Owen. We we know that. Can Collins close up on Ormond? Can uh do can uh do pain? Maybe catch the, these guys off, these drivers off guard and get by them. Nathan Smith does not look like he'll be able to catch Scott. Not even Scott. No, he's going to be stuck in that uh, three-point position. But Gary Owen down the back stretch he goes. For the, uh, that's what I'm calling the back stretch. Down the stretch he goes. And Gary Owen coming through the final few corners. Now heading into the penultimate corner. Now down the short stretch into the final corner. Gary Owen out of the final corner now. He's going to win a Canadian tire. Dominating fashion here. Nathan Norman's going to come home to get second. Very, very good for that 44 team. They, they're going to have need those points. And it's... Ooh. And Sebastian Dupayne narrowly beat Mitchell Collins at the line. Let's go back and see that. Dupayne's on the inside of Collins, side by side. Out of the final corner, it was Dupayne. What a finish for a. That, what a finish for that position. Devin Fair, you know he's not going to be happy with this finish. Uh, definitely seeing to be seeming to be a choking hazard here. As uh, he was leading the points going. Uh, um, um, uh, sorry about this, but uh, sorry about the technical difficulties. But we have come back, and uh, there's a pile up on the uh, cooldown lap coming into pit lane. A lot of cars involved. Here's a, uh, I don't know what happened. I saw, came back and I saw John McFadden flipping. Uh, let's go over the official results. I genuinely don't know what happened. As you see, car trucks still hitting each other on the cooldown lap, but uh, Gary Owen comes out with the victory. Nathan Ormond grabs second. Sebastian Dupain gets third. Mitchell Collins gets fourth. Uh, Mateo Kobayashi gets fifth. Patrick Starr comes home in a solid sixth. It's going to be close between him and Nathan Ormond for the championship. They're definitely the two favorites going into the uh, going into Rockingham. Uh, Ryan Benjamin comes home in a solid seventh. John McFadden comes home in 8th. Uh, Nottingham Scott comes home in 9th. Uh, in 10th comes Nathan Smith. Not enough to get out of that 3-point uh, finishing position. That's going to be tough uh, for him. He's, he's uh, going to be very emotional after this race. Uh, 
by emotional, I mean he's going to be very angry. Uh, Devin Fair in 11th, Roman Fenway in 12th, Greg Galding in 13th, Cody Smart in 14th, Bradley Green in 15th, Jordan Stout in 16th, Arthur Xavier in 17th, and Christian Russell in 18th. Thank you for watching uh, Gary Owens race north of the border here at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, and uh, stay tuned for the finale at Rockingham. And uh, once again, thank you for watching the race, and I'll see you hopefully at Rockingham.